long time no see. It's been so long since I last uploaded. Well, more so, so long since I last recorded. So a lot has happened. At least, um, I've been really busy, but also a lot has happened just on an internal level. Um, I just felt like I needed like an incubation period. I'm starting to realize that I don't do so well in the summer. Um, I'm not a summer person per se, like it's not my favorite season. I don't really function um, the same in the summer as I do in the winter, um, like most people. But I was born in the winter, I was born in January, um, like the middle of winter, you know. And I come alive in the winter. I feel like I spring to life in the winter whereas in the summer i feel it's more of like an incubation period for me um i'm not so alive i <laughs> i feel pretty dead actually um and so last time you saw me i was in tacoma washington visiting my family and my tribe with my mom and she um, fractured her humerus it was a bad time it was not the best time but um, <laughs> I came home, um, I had three different visitors in the month of August. So it was like week after week after week I had a visitor and I could have vlogged, granted, I definitely could have vlogged, but I got sick, um, really, really uh, sick. Uh, one of the, like the first month, the first week of August and then Sorry, this is like a chatty intro. And then I got, um, my sister came and I didn't feel like vlogging. She was only here for a few days. And then my dad came over and we went fishing and stuff. And I could have vlogged that, but I didn't really want to get my camera out. Actually, you know what? I did get some footage of that. Um, and hopefully I can insert them right now. Actually really fun I've never gone fishing on an actual like boat before um how, gosh now I wonder um what I got on film that day I don't think I got much but obviously you've seen what I got just now I, I don't like to vlog when I have visitors I just like to chill with them can my notifications not I've been playing a lot of Pokemon Go lately with Dino that is what we've been up to really so three visitors in the month of august lots and lots and lots of pokemon go like practically every single day we go out and do raids with people and mewtwo is coming out soon uh, we just had a friend who got a raid pass for mewtwo i hope that happens to me today or sometime in the very new, near future because we're really trying to get Mewtwo. Definitely, definitely, that's like Dino's favorite Pokemon. Um, so yeah, we've been having lots of fun with raids and um, just collecting really good IVs for IV percentages for Pokemon. Oh yeah, I did um, a paint night with my cousin. Let me show you what I painted. Okay, so I painted this with my cousin. 
um it was like a paint night where you go and there's like an instructor up there telling you step by step how to paint the picture so everyone got their canvas and um, I have never ever painted anything before um, so this was my first time and I think I did a pretty decent job now this may look like amazing to some of you I'm not sure um, that's how the comments seem to be on my Instagram by the way follow me on Instagram for the real updates um, but a lot of you were like uh, first time like sarcastically and yeah it was my first time and this may look amazing to you but pretty much everyone's looked something like this um, because they really do walk you through step by step step by step like <laughs> like the that one show um, yeah so I'm I'm actually a total novice I don't know how to paint but um, I actually surprised myself this was very surprising to me that it turned out like this. This thing is much bigger than I wanted it to be and the blending is not, um, it's not that blended, you know what I mean? Like, but you know, I surprised myself. I feel like I'm going to regret saying this, but I'm thinking of doing Vlogtober which is where you vlog every single day of October. For those of you who have been with me for like the past year, um, I did Vlogmas last year and that was actually really fun and I felt very proud of myself for that. And I got to um, really see how it felt to do something that consistently, which felt amazing, I should say. Um, and I really wanted to try that again this year, but in vlogtober, October, because I love Halloween, I love the fall time, it's, it's when I feel like I come alive, is when it goes from like summer to fall, from hot to colder, um, oh, big update, I guess this is really going to be an update video slash vlog, I think last weekend I got heat stroke or heat exhaustion, something like that, because um, I'm not gonna like super go into like the symptoms and stuff like that, but there was one really, really hot night and I don't have air conditioning. It was high humidity and it was like 90 degrees all night long and um, I couldn't sleep and I, I was drinking water, but I guess my electrolytes were uh, low and I got some sort of heat exhaustion slash heat stroke I caught it very early I went to my car and turned on the AC and I called a doctor it was like the middle of the night um, and they told me to replenish my electrolytes and make sure I don't have a fever and if I do go to the ER but um, I didn't have a thermometer so I didn't I don't know if I had a fever or not I don't think I did um, but yeah it was it was pretty crazy, I almost fainted, I almost passed out, um, yeah, it was not a good time, and then, um, we got an AC, finally, it's my baby, I love it so much. Basically, I don't handle, um, excessive heat very well, and even though I'm from Sacramento, I'm used to dry heat, I'm not used to humid heat, I don't like it, but, um, I'm really excited for fall and winter especially. Those are my favorite times of the year. I was born in it and I just... So point being, I'm going to try and do Vlogtober because that is the month that I come alive, truly. And I'm really feeling that way. So, um, but the next few days, I think I'm going to kind of purge my home environment a little bit and organize it um, to really support me coming alive like that uh, for the fall so it's kind of like a fall cleaning and I think it's gonna be really fun and it's gonna feel really good and maybe I will vlog some of that um, 
I'm also gonna get back into baking because all baked goods are here. Lemon stuff, pumpkin stuff. Um, I'm gonna bake like pumpkin pie and stuff in, in October for Halloween and I'm super excited. So um, yeah, look forward to some fun stuff. Those are the, the highlight, the highlighted points um, update for you. And today Dino is in San Jose, so I'm here with the animals by myself. I woke up super early today at like 6 a.m. and I tried to go back to sleep. I couldn't I couldn't go back to sleep. So I started my day pretty early. Um, we have a termite guy coming to treat our place, our balcony for termites. So I actually um, need to get what I'm going to do done right now before he comes so i need to go buy some cat food first and foremost so i'm gonna go do that now because my cat poor poor little kitty doesn't have any food now he has a little bit but um he's totally gonna be out by tonight so i need to go get that and that's about it and i think i'm gonna make some oatmeal for breakfast maybe i'll show you how i make my oatmeal real quick and then um i don't know what else i'm doing today <laughs> By the way, this is all of the yellowtail my dad and I caught um, on our fishing trip. He actually took a whole one of these. So we had four of these. Uh, we got them filleted on the boat. And I actually caught, um, how many fish did I catch? I caught at least, I think I caught four. And my dad caught maybe three. So once the water's boiling, you put your stuff in, your little oats, okay, girl. And these are rolled oats, so you have to let them be there for like, you know, like 10 minutes. So I just turned the heat down to low. Okay, so this is the rolled oats that I use. They are gluten-free gluten-free old-fashioned rolled oats from Bob's Red Mill and this is all the stuff that I put in it so I put like a dollop of this grass-fed butter in it once it's like actually done cooking and then I put a bunch of this uh, Ceylon cinnamon in it hello this is like organic stevia from I got this on onit.com a long time ago but it doesn't expire for like hella days so you put literally literally this much in so it's like that much it's like nothing but it's just enough to make it sweetish um, cause it's a very savory meal. Obviously you have the oats and the butter and that's really super savory. And then the cinnamon adds like a little bit of a flavor to it. And then the stevia adds like a tinge of sweetness. Um, I'm not a huge fan of stevia as a sweetener. Um, but this stuff, it's just pure stevia and I use like literally a pinch in things. So... Uh, it's pretty good in oatmeal. This is like the bulk of the flavor right here Is the butter so you want like a decent amount in there That's like I think that's good. Ooh, it smells like Christmas Like that And that adds like a tinge of sweetness and this is the finished product. If you have any berries of any kind, go ahead and put those in there because it gives a bit more sweetness and flavor to it. Currently, I am on the hunt for a 100% IV chin show on the beach. I came all the way to the beach just for that, so hopefully I catch it. I found it. So I'm going to try to catch it now. Yes! Alright, so let's appraise it. Best HP a 
attack, defense, and best. Awesome. Named it Chincho 100. Shall we evolve it? Nice. Lantern 100. Now that I have gotten the 100% lantern, aka Chincho, I'm gonna head home. It's kinda hot today, I don't really wanna be outside. <laughs> um, and yes, I bragged to Dino because he's gone and he couldn't get it. So I sent him a picture of my lantern, 100% Ivy. Buster, did you miss everyone? He's so tired. Did you have a long day lazing about the house, puppy, huh? Look at your little face. Look at your little face. What I've done is I have made a list. This is kind of a purged list, okay? I, I kind of purged my to-dos onto a, a piece of paper front and back to kind of get out all these things going on in my mind and uh, one side of the page is for clearing the house and creating a more supportive space um, for like going into fall and so that I won't you know have to do this uh, in the fall and I'll feel uh, so supported in my home and um, cleared and everything so I've Man, it is a long list. It's like, like for one, I have to like, um, I'm gonna really organize this space here with the Pokemon cards, my toys, I gotta, you know, dust all of that um, and properly display the Pokemon cards that we have. I have a lot of, um, I have like a whole thing of, you know, graded cards. This is a shadow, no, that's not a shadow list. It's a regular Blastoise. Um, but I have a whole thing of these that I really want to display properly. I have art that I need to display. I need to buy frames for. Um, I need a new bookshelf for my books because the bookshelf I have right now is like caving in on itself. Um, <laughs> I need to kind of purge papers and things like that, organize stuff on my computer, um, clean out my car, get my printer to start working again, clean off the balcony. Um, all sorts of stuff. Um, I even put like really little things on there, kind of like, um, like shake out my, um, my blanket, my, uh, tribal blanket, my peel up tribal blanket over there and lint roll it because the buster's fur gets in the air and it just, it's so attracted to that blanket. Um, so yeah, I've done that and I highly recommend doing this just getting your to-dos on a piece of paper and just um, Having it there and Like no pressure on yourself whatsoever just having all of your to-dos in one spot so that um, Not only can you refer to it, but you can also kind of reflect on it like what? Um, is the most important thing for me to do and why and where am I headed? Will this thing that I need to do um, catapult me or um, will this thing that I need to do 
uh, move me in the direction that I want to go and you can also ask yourself what are my to do's leading me to like what is this leading me to um, is it supportive of me I don't know where I'm gonna start today I think I'll just choose a place um, put on some anime and just start let me know in this vlog if you would be interested in seeing kind of my progress um, on this house clearing and I could make a video on it I could make a couple videos on it I'm not really sure how that will go but let me know if you're even interested in that do you care about me organizing or purging my Pokemon cards or my closet or my books um, buying a new shelf maybe some new furniture or you know stuff like that do you give a crap about um, me kind of clearing the home and like how I go about doing that do you care because I can make a vlog on that um, if not a couple of them throughout the next few weeks um, that is something I can definitely do so let me know if you're interested in that um, I don't know what else I'll vlog today but if I don't see you again in this vlog I hope you've enjoyed my chattiness today <laughs>